Hello, this is Sage the Balloon Sage, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to create this wild 4th of July, red, white, and blue balloon centerpiece. Topped with an Orbs Patriotic Mylar Balloon, the structure itself is comprised of 15 11-inch round balloons, five of each color. And the swirly exploding effect is evocative of bursting fireworks in the night sky and is easily formed from six complementary 260s. Also, make sure you have some spare rounds and 260s for the construction process. Inflate five rounds, 12 pumps each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Pull it off and tie it. When five balloons are tied together on the nozzles, they form a star quad. These decoration building blocks are a little more unwieldy than your standard quad. But the enhancement to the overall aesthetic is worth it. You make two pairs, pair them up, take that last one, grab one of the nozzles on the inside, push it in, and tie it. Inflate five rounds, eight pumps each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make a star quad by repeating the steps we just learned. You can pair them as four and one or three and two. I actually prefer the three and two method myself. Resting position and building position. Finally, inflate five round balloons, three pumps each. One, two, three. Repeat the same steps. Knot all those nozzles together and you have your third and final quad. One at a time, you're going to inflate your six 260s all the way. So let's pump that up. And of course, you don't want it too full because it'll be folded and uh, it'll also be shaped a bit. So let a little air out, but still make sure there's no tail on each one. Here's how to make a simple balloon weight with a red and a white balloon. Take the red, you spin it until it's like a little peg like this, and then you stick it into the mouth of the white balloon. Just like that. Now grab the lip with one hand and pull down on the red with the other. And in no time you have a balloon inside of a balloon perfect for filling up on the kitchen sink. A double thick water balloon weight. Make it the perfect size and tie it nice and tight. Beautiful. Now we're ready to bring it all together. Flatten out your red star quad as the base. Take your weight, slide it into the center, and pull it flush against the bottom. Wrap it around. Nice and secure. And coming up, think of this as the spine of your column. We place the middle quad right on top. Don't lose track of your 260 here because the same techniques we secure the second star quad. Turn it around, maybe around the weight, come back up, just like that. And of course the third level, the smallest one, the blue, placed on top, and attached in the same fashion. Tie another spare 260 to the stars and stripes mylar nozzle at the bottom. Pull straight down as you position, secure it, your friends at top. Fold three 260s to find their centers, and once you do, give it a spin, creating this starburst shape. Now what you do is take three of the sections at a time and braid them. So, creating this fun crimping effect. With a final spare 260, the fireworks are locked in place on either side. Come out around, tie it, and stick it right over here. Now you come out on the other side, so you can attach the other fireworks with the same balloon. I 
I like to complete the look of the fireworks by positioning these patriotic tendrils into a symmetrical presentation. And I want to thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. You know, the Balloon Sage channel has balloon decor, balloon animals, great stuff for line work, for parties, everything you could want. So please subscribe, please thumb up this video, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.